welcome from Belgium to another vlog here on the channel the first one uh, overseas anyway um, yep it is Brussels today tomorrow will be Bruges so what I'm going to do is get a ticket for this bus um, the, the normal protocol really um, get, a, get a bus ticket and have a ride around the city that's what I do in Athens that's what I did in Berlin that's what I did in Madrid so yeah, go through all the prices and everything uh, with you whilst I'm on there, but yeah, uh, first um, thing there you can see the off on, off off will be the bus, and I'll go into that a little bit further. Right, on the uh, sightseeing bus now. Yeah, really highly recommended way of seeing the city doing these. will be uh, apologies also for any wind interference that the GoPro might be picking up is get off at a few stops uh, get as much as I can up here um, on bus POVs um, with Antonium um, we'll do have a look around there and everything and um, try and get you as much as I can really so anyway while we're at a stop I'll just show you the uh, the brochure uh, it'd be easier than trying to tell you uh, everything on here so you can see 22 bus stops over two different lines you've got eight audio guided languages which you just put your thing into here the, the earphones that you get when you come on the bus pick that up from the driver so you've got different tickets uh, the 24 hours or the 48 hours I've gone for the 24 hours because as I said tomorrow I'll be in Bruges and there your timetable the frequencies and everything so for this one today, September, got an half hour frequency, 10 till 4. Pay fares, 25 euros. You do pick this up from the driver as you get on the bus. In some cities you actually see somebody who sells you tickets before you get on the bus, but the, this one you actually see the bus driver and he gives you the ticket. So yeah, 32. 32 euros for a 48 hour ticket getting blasted up here and a child 15 euros or 18 euros for the two day and also you get a discount there 2 euros if you book online I never do that I always prefer to have it in front of me a ticket form so yeah the sun's out and uh, give you a little bit of history about Brussels as we go along
Atomium, I think that's how they pronounce it, uh, built in 1958. Now, you can probably gather, you won't be able to see, I'll get a better shot a little bit more long distance, but there's nine atoms up there and it, they're representing each different atom. Uh, was constructed for the uh, Belgium welfare, by all accounts. So yeah, I'm going to see if there's any uh, any price list. Don't think I'll be going in. See all the different stairways up there. You can actually sort of walk along these corridors, these stairs, and everything. There you go, 60 year anniversary. Now, I'll have a walk up towards the entrance because there might be a bit of info. Well, there's bound to be some information up there, I think. See if there's a price list. As like I said, I won't be doing it. I'm going to be walking around to the little model village. Yeah, I'm going to switch the camera off for a minute because I can't actually see anything price related. As soon as they do, I'll get back to you. But yeah, there are your admissions anyway from 10 till 6. Last admission at 5.30. Right, I don't know if you can actually see that through the window, but I'll, I'll tell you anyway. It's uh, To get in there, it's uh, 18 euros. Oh. It's 18 euros for kids. Well, actually, it's teens are 8 euros, students 8 euros, person with disability 8 euros, 15 euros for adults. Just, just about to see that. Senior 13. And then obviously you've got your group, group fees as well. So yeah, so that, that, that's your price list. Um, I'm going to go and try and find this model village. Don't know where it is. Uh, might have a wander around there, might not. We'll uh, see how much it is. See if it's uh, worth doing. But yeah, uh, the hotel, a uh, bit of an hotel review. It's alright, it's not nothing brilliant. I'm, I'm not going to mention which one it is unless I do have a particularly good review, but yeah, it's alright. It's, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's warm. But yeah, I probably won't stop there again. I've had a few issues with the television and a, a few other bits and bobs. I wander down here. Yeah, I hope you like the uh, opening scenes to the vlog as well at Manchester Airport. Good flight over, less than an hour. Literally, we're in the air and then descending back towards the ground. Really quick flight. Brussels Airlines, highly recommended them. Flown with them a few times now and yeah, I can't fault them. So yeah, that's a, a better shot into the sun. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, just stumbled across this by chance. A uh, little water park. Uh, OC, OCD. Something like that anyway. Just up from the uh, Atomium. Atomium, however you pronounce it. Doesn't look like it's actually open, but yeah, got got a few slides, water slides, and a, a few other bits and bobs in there. No rides. It doesn't look like it's open. But yeah, that's just across from, from this. So that's what I went about earlier. Mini Euro at Brussels. Try and get some uh, prices there. Might go in. Depends how uh, chingy it is, how expensive. So you've got all sorts of different things. Big Ben. All landmarks of Europe really in a mini version. That 
that's a uh, yeah, Kremlin, smaller version of the uh, the atoms there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a wander down there and uh, have a look what's what. So down at Mini Europe now, I've had a look at the prices and uh, no, I'm going to give it a swerve but I'll, I'll just get them in there anyway, if you can see them, 15 and a half, I think that's too much to be honest with you. And obviously then you've got your combined deals with the, uh, with the atoms, different sightseeing tours and everything. Yeah, you can't see anything, it's uh, uh, an Euro 4 Black Edition. Unfortunately, you can't see anything when you're filming, so it's shoot and hoop. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, it's for YouTube. That's, uh, so yeah, different different prices, different package deals, and everything. Yeah, so I'll be giving that one a swerve, I reckon. Seems a bit too much to me that. So anyway, I'm going to go and um, get back on the bus and um, head somewhere else. But yeah, I like little area really if you if you've got the time and got the money. Um, so the water park that, that doesn't look like it's open. You've got something else in there like a leisure centre. So you've got the mini Europe behind the Tomium. Uh, yeah, you could easily pass a few hours on here. Uh, well worth visiting really. into Brussels there. right in the centre of Brussels. Bit of history on that, it was originally built in 1718, 1719 and uh, then we got reconstructed in uh, 1965 but the old one does reside at the museum. So um, see this is the way up to the uh, the garden robe and everything but yeah uh, the old origins of all that was to do with a little boy peeing on a corner and mannequin piss. And it's actually thought though that the uh, the word piss comes from that. Whether or not you believe it is uh, another thing, but that's what folklore says. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So the next time you, you hear yourself saying that word, it could all have originated here in Belgium. It takes the piss really. Mannequin piss. Of course, this is a, a family channel. CTWR82, we aim as best to make everything family friendly. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little walk around the uh, the centre, still got the Grand Place to do, Grand Place, as it's uh, wrote. Uh, a few other bits, uh, the second tour, I've just done the first one, um, the second tour which takes you further out of Brussels into the sort of like outskirts of the city and everything, give you a bit of history on, on Brussels as we go along. Uh, and yeah, as I said, try and get as much on uh, on this video as I can. But no, timed it perfectly back at the um, Atonium. Uh, the bus more or less pulled in as soon as I walked round to get it. So, can't complain too much with that at all. So, yeah, just doing a bit of a wandering round now. As I said, I'm going to do the, uh, the Grand Place next. Big Market Square. But yeah, glorious day here, catching a nice suntan on the top deck of the bus. Bit of a breeze as well, so very pleasant. You 
Yeah, and then this evening, uh, I'll show you a few eateries near me, hotel and everything. Again, just a general walk around, show you a bit of nightlife around Brussels. So yeah, Grand Pla. Next up. Yeah, stunning down here in the centre of Brussels now at Grand Pla. So yeah, I'm going to have a real slow walk round so you can sort of just take in what's the, I would say it's obviously a square. So yeah, you've got the Belgium Beer Museum. have a look at that it was similar sort of thing probably to the one in Lisbon that I did last year I may actually do it for the channel this year in December as well five euros to get in and free beer and everything and a good walk around the origins of Portuguese beer well that'll be obviously Belgian beer yeah architecture at its best So you've got all your different eateries, Starbucks coffee, different bars. Yeah, every one of them will symbolise something or another. Square full of architecture and design. Let's wander over here. So down there you've got a Belgium chocolate place, obviously the place is renowned for its uh, chocolate, I'm trying to uh, not get in anybody's way here. So this will probably be a five or six minute scene but it, just worthwhile having a steady walk down really and just taking it in. So down at the mannequin, uh, 10 seconds and you've seen it. So yeah, that's the, uh, if you just get the uh, street sign in there. You might just be able to make that out. Grotty Market, Grotty Market. It's a Belgium for it. Yeah, and that's Grand Place. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to take a look at this Belgian beer museum, see if it's again reasonable to get in. Might do a little bit in there and then, while we're on the subject of beer, have a sneaky one somewhere. There's a couple of 
bars, sit out bars on the way around and then do a line two on the bus. There is a cathedral on the way and other bits and bobbies. And that's a, like a banking place. Yeah, very good. A bit of reading, and then as as I leave, a uh, a free beer. So I'll get that. That, that that'll be my lunchtime tipple. Yeah, just a little bit about the place, really. You got different like vats. Got, uh, brew the beer, obviously. Bit of uh, factual information on the uh, on the walls there. I think it said it's actually split up into three uh, different sections. So. Uh, Try and find the English one. There we go. So, so all the uh, the bottling, filtering, fermentation. How to brew that perfect pint? I wish that were my uh, loft. <laughs> Shows you how to bottle all the beers and distribute them and everything. So yeah, next bit. Um, little guide here. There's quite a little bit in here that I come through with the uh, the admission and everything. So, so yeah, worth uh, worth having a look at. I said very similar, a little bit more with the one in Lisbon, but yeah, nice dark beer on the ground floor. expansive. I suppose we've got a bit of a guide so keep that as a bit of free merch. But yeah to have a beer on the Grand Pla is quite nice. Right well I'm going to head back to the uh, sightseeing bus stop at the main station, the central station and do line two. Might have a, another quick beer on the way uh, back round. Can have a cig and sit out in the sun for half hour and uh, just chillax really. And uh, get you a bit on that. So there's a cathedral. That cathedral I saw earlier on the uh, on the vid. I might pop off and have a look at that. See what time I get. But but yeah, really really glorious day here and. Uh, Days. See you on the bus.
concluding the tour on the Europe line, line B. They've got a bit of stuff here as we've gone round. and you. Yeah, si city sightseeing buses. Probably about right that. Uh, two, two lines, uh, one about an hour and a half, one about an hour. So, yeah, so sometimes they can go on too long and you sort of lose interest halfway around, but but no, that was spot on. So as I said, 25 euros or 32 euros for two days, but I don't think you need two days on that. One day is enough, 25 euros in my own opinion. Right, anyway, this um, this is the next port of call. This architectural greatness. So I get a few photos from me, various social medias. Try not to run over either. Now what I can film in here might be restricted, after all it is a place of worship, I have got to respect that. It really looks fantastic. But yeah, the weather has been glorious here. Mid-twenties, sun's out, so they get a bit of a tan as well. I'm going to turn the camera off for the minute, as I said I'm not sure really what I can film and not film. Uh, we'll go and have a browse round there and uh, try and get a book, like a tour tourist book, I like doing that sort of thing. And then, what time is it? Ten past three. Might start looking and getting a few bits of merch, gifts and everything. I'm not going to be here tomorrow and then Thursday I've got a early flight back from Brussels back to Manchester so it only really gives me t today this this afternoon to yeah that's imposing to get me gifts obviously the usual suspect fridge magnets a cup do the same in Bruges tomorrow uh, two for the price of one right switch you off for the minute back shortly Brussels Cathedral. As I said, it, it weren't appropriate for me to be filming in there. I don't think I've been loud anyway, but these places are places of worship, so you've got to respect that. Anyway, I've got a couple of photos. They'll be on my Instagram page and my Facebook uh, of the inside and everything. Uh, lit a candle, had a moment of reflection, said a f uh, few quiet words uh, for someone. Uh, also, checked out the gift shop. Uh, there was a fridge magnet, but it was of the Pope. I'm sure he's a nice bloke and everything, but I don't particularly want him on my fridge. So uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is see if there's anything else to do uh, before I head back to the uh, the lodgings. And um, yeah, check, check, check out one of these gift shops, get myself a bit of merch, a bit of merchandise from uh, Brussels. As I said, tomorrow I'll be in Bruges, so uh, this will probably be my last chance to acquire something before I go home. Yeah, a little park area. But yeah, well, just down at the uh, the Grand Plaza, there were quite a few shops, souvenir shops and everything, so 
going to pop in and uh, get a bit of memorabilia, get a few gifts and everything. Might show you around them, see, uh, see what's what. Say it's yeah, just gone off three now, so. Yeah, the bustling streets of Brussels. So yeah, I'll switch the camera off for now, find out what I'm going to do next, and uh, be right back. To the hotel apparently it's a four minute walk according to the map but all I've succeeded in doing so so far is getting myself lost trying to find the hotel uh, anyway uh, the gift shop back there got a fridge magnet away and also a cup a mug to add to the ever-growing collection of European cups and travel cups that I've got on top of my uh, cupboards in my kitchen at home so yeah um, got a few other bits and bobs while I'm in there as well so anyway just gone four o'clock so I'm not going to film anything for the next few hours I'm going to get ready for uh, for this evening so this is like a bit of a, a main stretch just outside uh, Brussels centre uh, get myself ready for this evening and show you a bit of the nightlife and what's going on around uh, around my hotel the eateries and everything and I'll wrap the vlog up so yeah, been a good day and a glorious day as well. Oh well, good evening. As promised, I thought I'd show you a bit of the evening street nightlife in uh, Brussels. This is where we were last night. Very vibrant, a lot of people around. Literally just outside my door of my hotel, so yeah, I'll have a little walk down here and but yeah, I've just been in the hotel bar, eight percent beer, strong stuff. Yeah, sun setting, glorious day here today. 25, 26, it's got to. where I was yesterday, the uh, Thai restaurant. I'm going to look at a Korean restaurant tonight. So yeah, different, different eateries, different bars, different places you can dine, drink and watch the world go by really. A bit of uh, which is in front. Don't know what it is. Yeah, just a very random evening walk, really. Travel vlogs are sometimes the random goes better than the pre planned, really. Actually, it looks like the city hall in Sheffield, the columns and everything. So right, I'm going to wrap this up, so uh, not to bore you too much. So anyway, I've had a look at the uh, the fares for uh, Bruges tomorrow, and it's uh, 30 euros. Uh, uh, 30 euros. I can actually get discount travel, uh, European travel. I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more. 
So we've got the Mackie D's there. That's, uh, yeah, can't be a good uh, McDonald's. So yeah, the um, second vlog from overseas will be at Bruges tomorrow. We'll bring you as much as I can today, really. Uh, a lot planned for that one. Uh, there'll be a bit of travel with the trains and everything. Uh, I think it's got Belmont Tower, uh, 300 and some steps. Negotiate them. Hopefully my shoulder will be a bit better tomorrow as well. I have been having a few problems with my shoulder. Probably lugging that case round. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is Brussels in the evening. So anyway, I, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing, viewing and getting me views up on the channel really. It, fantastic, you know, really do appreciate it. It makes all this worthwhile that people are willing to give up the time and uh, watch these uh, videos. So I'm walking up to this uh, Korean restaurant. Have my tea in there and then reside back to the hotel bar but yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing all the usual stuff really hope you're enjoying it as much as i'm loving filming and designing and editing it really so anyway i'm hungry so for now it's two hours i will see you in bruges tomorrow which is wednesday And it's bye-bye for now. Take care, guys.